This recipe is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Banana bread actually is a bread by definition of what a bread is. But who are we kidding? It's cake. Let's get it done. We're going to start off in the bowl of our stand mixer. You can also use a hand mixer or actually mix it by hand. Up to you. It's whatever melts your butter. And speaking of butter, two sticks unsalted butter at room temperature and two cups of granulated sugar. Uh, we're going to cream these together which simply means to mix thoroughly until lightened and fully combined. Uh, Cream is also a, an amazing band featuring Eric Clapton. Uh, it's a great song by Prince, and it's also a great song by the Wu-Tang Clan because cash rules everything around me. Cream get the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'alls. So once that's fully combined, we're going to drop in eggs, four of them, one at a time. So drop in your liquid chicken, let it mix, then drop in your next one. You gotta do it slowly and you don't want it too high of a speed. If you dropped it all in at high speed, you can have egg flying all over your kitchen and nobody wants to clean that mess up. So one at a time, take your time, it's worth it. Have patience, patience is a virtue, my friends. Get it fully combined, drop the next one in. Once all four of your eggs are in, you're gonna drop in two teaspoons of lemon juice for some reason. It went in there, but I kind of cut it out on accident. My bad. Sorry. But we are going to show dropping in two teaspoons of the finest vanilla extract you can find in a Ford. So get that in there. Let it mix thoroughly. By the way, you can scrape down the sides of your bowl at any time that you feel necessary. You don't have to wait for me to tell you to do it. There is no specific time to do it whenever you want to. Now we're going to address our dry ingredients, three and a half cups or 420 grams of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to get ourselves a whisk and we're going to mix it thoroughly. You don't want uh, too much of one ingredient clumped up together, so you want to get it dispersed throughout. You can sift this if you'd like, but you know a whisk works fine. You know, you do you. Get it as combined as you can. Now, we're gonna, while the mixer is running at a medium speed, we're gonna drop this in little by little, let it combine, and then add more. You wanna take your time with this. Again, if you drop it all in, you're just gonna have fl flour, bleh, flour flying around. That's a tongue twister. Like she sells seashells by the seashore or rubber baby buggy bumpers. So little by little, get your flour in there. It's gonna mix, it's gonna spin. It's gonna to come together. Now we're gonna add one cup of sour cream. Use the good stuff. Get that in there, allow it to mix. You have a nice thick batter. It is beautiful. Let that jiggle and mix in. You gotta tighten the head on that, what do you think? It's been a while, you gotta service that thing. Change the brushes and whatnot. It's almost 20 years old. So that's fully combined, it is beautiful. It is velvety. And now we're gonna address our bananas. You need two and a half cups of super ripe bananas. This took five of two and a half cups. And remember, when bananas are flecked with brown and have a golden hue, bananas taste the best and are the best for you. So we're gonna just peel them because yes, you don't, you don't cook the peel. So peel them, get yourself in a, you can do this in a bowl. I, I'm doing it in my four cup uh, measuring cup. Get a fork and mash them up. You want it to be like chunky baby food. Um, just like that. It's gonna release some of its moisture, but I like the chunks. You can do it as smooth as you want. I, I kind of like banana chunks in, in there, so I don't, I don't fully go to a smooth state. I like it a little chunky, like my peanut butter. And like me, I'm a little chunky. We're gonna fold this in. So with a spatula, preferably one longer than uh, the one I, I'm using. Uh, fold it in, get it mixed. You want bananas evenly distributed throughout in a homogeneous mixture. And now we're gonna address our pans. Uh, this recipe makes two loaf pans worth of banana bread. 
So you're gonna very generously, and I mean very generously, spray them down with cooking spray. You do not want this to stick. There's a lot of sugar in there. It will stick if you don't properly lubricate the pan. So about halfway on the first one, now I'm gonna take our second pan. We're gonna go about halfway again, and then use the, you know, top them off evenly so that you have two even loads. You don't wanna go any more than like two thirds full because these will rise and if you go too high, they're gonna spill over. Just in case it spills over, I put it on a sheet pan. This way, no muss, no fuss. All right, so into the oven, 350 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes or until a cake tester comes out clean. You know what you're doing, so get it in there, get it done. So mine took 55 minutes and are you ready? Are you ready for this? Ta-da! Beautifully browned, beautifully fragrant, delicious. All right, I know. We gotta play the waiting game again. We gotta let it cool down for a little while. Once it cools down for about 15 minutes or so, we're gonna take it out of the pans and put it onto a cooling rack, and then it's gotta stay on that cooling rack until it comes down to room temperature. But, and this is a big but, because I like big butts and I cannot lie, uh, you can serve it a little bit warm with a little vanilla ice cream. That would be fantastically delicious, but that's not what I'm gonna do today. I'm actually gonna let it cool down. So I'm gonna let it cool down and uh, we'll taste it in a little while. Just relax, pop some popcorn, watch a good movie or something. So I let these cool for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna transfer them onto a wire rack to fully cool down. Uh, you can use a plate to do this or two plates to do this. Be very careful, they are still warm, they are very moist and they will fall apart and break. And I gotta admit, I did stuff that into my face. So we're gonna take them out of the pans, set them on the cooling rack. If you have giant baseball mitt hands like me, you can do it like this, otherwise use plates and be gentle. That is beautiful. And they smell good. Now it's time to cut it up. And they say the first cut is the deepest, I say the first cut is the most delicious because I love the end piece. Look at that, that is a beautiful crumb. Absolutely beautiful. It's the most wonderful time of the show. Look at how pretty that is. Look at that cross section. You want a cross section from the other direction? Mm. 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 Lordy Lord, that is good. Mmm. Wow. Perfect level of moisture and banana. Mmm. So there you go, folks. Simply amazing banana bread. You can serve this for breakfast, lunch, dinner, anywhere in between, midnight snack. Hey, I'm not going to judge you, but just make it. If you like this recipe, smash the like button down in the comments. You want to see me make something? Put it down there. You want to tell me I suck? Put it down there. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.